Hello guys and welcome to another trick out video and today we got Nurburgring GP and now we'll be doing this one with this Porsche 911. So this car is pretty good in the qualifying, I'm gonna be running with the medium tires and you have two options I would say in the race. So you can either use this one but be very careful in the last couple of laps this car becomes unbelievably hard to control. It doesn't have very good tire wear so please be careful if you try to use this one or you can go with the BRZ and make your life a lot easier. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, let's get going with this track eye video and the first thing I have to note is that you really need to rev up this car. So not quite a lot like the BMW but it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of long rev. And also one more thing right about here as soon as you start turning in it's not really the best idea to downshift like i did here so you want to get to the apex and then downshift into a lower gear this will allow the car to have more stability and you will have full control of the car otherwise you might get a little bit of that rotation which is not really needed most of the time so here i'm looking at kind of it's the pole on the right and then just a little bit of trail braking so the car gets that rotation and i'm stabilizing the car with a little bit of throttle so make sure that the car is rotating rotating but not too much so that's why i keep like 20 30 percent on the throttle so once again here i try to turn in slightly maybe about 15 20 degrees and then brake at about 50 percent this will allow the car to stop and also the turn so it's kind of you're actually kind of trying to slide your way into this section and as you can see i upshift it in the second gear but the first one has to be done in first gear so in second gear i think it would be a little bit too slow but in second it's kind of okay on the way out so Entry first and then on the way out it's second. Something like that is even going to happen here. So we are in four gear. I'm just going to downshift as I reach the apex to get a little bit of extra rotation. I think that was a little bit too early so I lost a bit of time but be careful with the rotation. So you can use it but you can also abuse it. So here I'm looking at the curb on the left once again and then downshifting second and I will upshift here but very very late. So as I said before it's something like in the section before you gotta rev up the car in lower gear and then upshift into a higher gear so once again here i tried a couple of lines but i think this one was the best for me or at least it gave me this lap time so i'm looking at the right a little bit before uh, a little bit before that mark and i'm not trying to trail brake a lot because that would mean excessive rotation i'm trying to break in the straight line and then let the car to rotate with downshifts so i'm using downshifts to rotate the car but not the trail braking part so here once again you can see i'm I'm lifting off the throttle as soon as you reach the curb and the curb actually rotates the car at this point it's kind of hard to get I mean I know it's very difficult to rotate this car around the circuit but it's probably the best thing you can do and you will eventually get your really really good lap time so I'm looking at the tree on the right a little bit before it I try to go in second gear through this section uh, I mentioned before you could probably go in a higher gear but this usually the lower gear gives you a bit better exit so I'm looking at the curb right there I missed the apex so I have to say I missed the apex and I lost a bit of time so in the race it's actually good to miss the apex because you will not get the excessive rotation out of the car but in the qualifying just use whatever you can to you know to rotate the car and get the better exit speeds out of certain sections so here once again 100 meter sign break in the straight line this is super important right here so you got to break straight otherwise the car is just not going to stop so here i'm looking at the first curb i'm downshifting the first and i'm going to upshift in the second to get that stability out of the car so as i downshift the car becomes unstable but as you upshift the car gets a little bit extra stability so you can use them through the chicken i know it this was so frustrating for me because i couldn't get it right every single time so yeah, even this last section is super difficult. But once again, I look at the mark right there. It's usually the cone, but you can break if you if you want to use a curb or something like that. Just use it. I'm, I'm using the cone right there. And again, not a lot of trail breaking, so you can carry the speed. And we're going to cross the finish line in 153.496. This was good enough to get the top 10. So guys, if you like this video, you can even hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, and you know that's pretty much whatever you can do so if you really like it and yeah i would appreciate it once again thank you very much for watching this and i'll catch you guys next time bye
that's it. That's it.